Good afternoon, Grace Baptist. It's Thursday, which means it's time for your weekly update. Hope you all are having a great Thursday. Uh, really had a good time looking last night at Jeremiah chapter 29. I know many of you couldn't hear it because the audio is down. Probably going to be down for one more week. But one of the things that sticks out to me in that passage is the fact that there were so many false teachers in that day when they'd been exiled to Babylon saying, oh, we're just going to be here a couple of years. Don't worry about it. And here comes a letter from the Lord. Now nah, you're going to be here 70 years, 70 years. You know, God is relentless in his pursuit of us and knocking down the idols that we have in our hearts. And um, I think the idols that need to be knocked down there in their hearts is he tells them, you need to just plant gardens, get a house, start planning for your family because you're going to be here a while. And none of them wanted to do that. They'd been taken captive and moved away. They all missed Zion. They were cut off from, cut off from their temple, cut off from the worship. And uh, here they are. Uh, in Babylon, not wanting to be there. And God said, there's there's lessons there, right? Um, it reminded me sort of like Moses, right? You know, he led through the 40 years of wilderness and goes to the mountaintop. God says, you're not, you're not going in. You're not going in. Have a look at it, but you're not going. You know, uh, sometimes we want to trade many of the things God gives us in idolatry for who he is. And uh, that's the hard lesson over and over again, I think, for God's people is being uh, too satisfied too easily satisfied with the things that we're given instead of the transcendent God that we worship and serve. Don't forget about the picnic coming up. Looking forward to that here soon. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, I won't be able to worship with you, but uh, we got Sam Smucker, who's going to be preaching. I have a chance to give to the Smucker family. They've been faithfully serving there in Papua New Guinea for 20 years. So I'll be praying for them and have your uh, gift ready to give on Sunday morning. And I will see you when I get back. Have a great weekend.